there with Minnie Mouse, but I just thought that one was cute. Like she's kind of peeking over a ledge or something. She looks real cute. And um, one box is going, I'm sorry, my in, Invisaligns are, I don't know, they're not feeling right <laughs> at the moment. Um, one of them seems to have a sharp edge where I had to trim it. So it's kind of bothering my mouth. So I'm probably talking weird. But anyway, one of my boxes is going to be um, like a rescue type thing with fire trucks and ambulances and policemen and stuff. So I bought this little uh, police car, matchbox car, and that's going to go inside. I got, I saved my receipts for fetch. If y'all don't do fetch, you should do it. I've earned a bunch of gift cards that way. Um, I also found some uh, really cool stickers, and I'm not sure if I've seen these before, possibly, or um, they might be new. I don't know. You tell me. Have you seen them? Anybody else seen these? I love the swan with the crown and the Rubik's Cube. Could anybody do a Rubik's Cube? I mean, really. Could anybody do that thing? I could only get, I learned how to do two rows all the way around. And like, I think the two, I mean the four corners, but then I couldn't get the other four in the center on the top row. That's about as far as I could get. Um, but anyway, it was fun to play with and it could be frustrating too. And look at this Warhol, look at that thing. Isn't that pretty? I love the colors on that. He's like tie-dyed or she. That's neat. So I picked that up. Oh, and I got another magic towel. And this is for the superhero box. And it is Batman. And I love to uh, watch that show when I was a kid. I think I told y'all that in another video when I bought the, the Batmobile car. And of course... Batman wasn't my favorite. I liked um, Robin. I thought he was cuter. <laughs> um, and the next bag I got, looks like something's wet on it. I hope nothing's leaking in here. <laughs> I bought these scissors, although I don't need scissors. I bought these scissors, and I'm gonna try them out. Um, I got the, the gray handle. I bought those because um, I didn't have my pocket knife with me and I needed to cut the tag and stuff cardboard off of um, Nova's toy. But then I didn't give her the toy, so I just bought these and didn't use them. But I'll find a use for them because scissors are always good. Um, I found a cute little um, for my um, ocean box, a lava shark monster truck and that looks cool that is one bad ride look look, look at that thing because sharks are cool they're creepy but they're cool so i got that and one of my most uh favorite things that i have got to show you guys um i've been collecting them here and putting them in a little bag and i want to show you I'm not sure if I have shown you any of these yet, but you know, you guys know I've been getting the puppies in a pocket, okay? Well, I have this one, and I might have shown you this little guy. I'm not sure. He's adorable. Look how cute. And I've gotten this one. And whoops. And that one's cute. Look at his little face. He's adorable. And I have gotten this little dude. That one's cute. So cute. And I've gotten this little yellow dog. And, of course, I told y'all I got the Yorkie. Well, I'm keeping the Yorkie. These will go to a, a kid. <laughs> And, um, I decided I wanted to try the, um, the jungle, um, animals in a pocket. I can show you what the 
packages look like the puppy ones. Oops, that's not it. Puppy in a pocket look like this. And there's all the ones you can get. And the jungle in my pocket looks like that. I decided I would try that. A couple of these. And you can get all these. And what I wanted was that one, that gator. And so I kind of cheated and felt around on the bags <laughs> until I found the, the one I really wanted. And luckily, I chose well. Look at that cute little gator. That is adorable. So I'm going to put that in a jungle box. He's so cute. And in another one of the... Uh, jungle in the pockets I got um this white tiger and he looks like that cute little guy so so far I have four of the dogs two of the jungle animals and this one I um told somebody I had a surprise coming in one of my messages when I answer somebody back, and this is what I found. And I was like, oh my gosh. So we don't have these in town. I found these in two different towns, or cities actually. And they look like this. Can you see that little unicorn doll? Isn't she sweet? Look at her little pigtails. She's adorable. And the packaging for these looks like that. Unicorn dolls. Like that on the back. That shows you all the ones you can get. And I hadn't seen these anywhere until I went out of town. And I found uh, two of them. And so I got this little girl. And her name is Candy. So that's Candy. And I got um, Kate. And Kate has the cool um, rainbow type hair. So she looks like that. Very, very cute. Look at that. I would love to play with these if I was little. Shoot, I'd play with them now. Anybody want to come over and play with these little dolls? <laughs> little puppy dogs. <laughs> so um, anyway, I went out of town this past weekend. And um, at the city I went to... Um, I got a couple of more, and unfortunately, I got a repeat, which, you know, there's always a chance of that, but she's still cute. So, I have two candies, and I got, who's this girl? Greta. Oh, look at her. Look at that pretty little <laughs> pink horn. I think she's cute. So she looks like that. So, if you have a little granddaughter, a little girl, a little niece, um, whatever. Get yourself to Dollar Tree now. And you hunt these things down. Because these are adorable. They are so, so cute. And of course, if you have a, a very, needless to say, three and up. But um, look at that. You can't, uh -uh. you can't give that up. You got to go look for it. And this little fella, mm -hmm. he's cute. And all the little doggies. So I have been waiting and waiting to show y'all those. Because um, I am trying to collect them and get as many as I can. I know it's really not economical because they're $1.25 each. But they're so stinking cute, it's worth it to me. And some little kid's going to be happy to have those. I told my mom, I said, why don't you come over? And I said, we'll play with the little unicorn dolls and the little puppies. <laughs> but anyway, um, so I got that. I found Winnie the Pooh and the Pooh Sticks game. Looks like this. And I love Winnie the Pooh. He's one of my favorites. My first son, his uh, nursery was decorated in Winnie the Pooh um, because I've always loved it. And... You've probably all seen the um, movie or read the book or whatever. But um, 
I thought that was cool. I may take this and use some of the pages um, for a poo junk journal because I do love him. Or I may save it for a future grandchild somewhere down the line. Who knows? Um, I found some, what brand is that? The Be Pure. Yeah, Be Pure, the cuticle oil. Looks like that, and it's mango. And I really need stuff for my cuticles because they, lately they have been so dry and cracked and um, I did so many hangnails. And so I'm gonna see if this stuff feels like it's gonna work. Maybe it will over time, I don't know. I thought it wouldn't hurt just to check it out. So I guess you twist it. Uh, oops. Oops. Get off. Part of the bag stuck to <laughs> Let's see. Is it going to come out? I don't think it's coming out yet. Well, I'm not going to play with that here and take up your time. But that's what it looks like. And it's still got bags stuck to it. And let's see if it smells like mangoes. Ooh. I feel like I got that on my mouth. <laughs> Not this, but the, the bag. Or you know what's even worse? I've noticed that if you're not really careful with your Invisalign sometimes, you can get a hair trapped. <laughs> And oh my gosh, it's so aggravating. Then you have to pull them out again and get the hair out. <laughs> it's so annoying. Oh gosh. Okay, I'm not going to mess with that. But anyway, if you want to pick it up and try it for your cuticles, it looks like that. And the next thing I got, um, I found some stickers. I don't know if I've seen these before. I may have. Actually, I may have some of these. I'm not even sure. I have so many stickers at this point that I can't even keep up. But I thought the butterflies were really pretty. And so I got these. And I got these. Those are gorgeous. I love that one. That's my favorite. That is really pretty. And they got like a little shimmery gold to them. So they look really cool. I'm blinding you, I bet. They look really cool. Anyway, you might want to look for those. And I found up near the register, it wasn't right, you know, between the registers, how you can find cool stuff sometimes. This was like on a, um, a separate um, freestanding thing. And um, it's 80s uh, pet sticker books. And I hadn't seen these before. So, I picked both of them up. They're both 240 pieces. This one looks like that. Very cute. <laughs> Look at that dog with the glasses. <laughs> Zebra. They're so cute. <laughs> and then inside, it looks like that. You got that. And you got... <laughs> You got these. Hope I'm not blinding you guys. And that is so 80s. Look at that. Yeah. Love the 80s. 80s music is awesome. And the last sheet looks like that. So you get 240 stickers. And the next book. Looks like this. Oh, that was cool, too. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Look at that giraffe. He looks drunk. <laughs> oh, gosh. So, inside, it has... Oh, boy. It has those, which that dude, he's my favorite. He's absolutely my favorite. Oh, my gosh. Can you see it without being blinded? Okay. <laughs> and 
the next sheet, they're actually blinding me. Looks like that. And the final one. No, it's got two more. Looks like that. And there's that Rubik's Cube. <laughs> and the boom box. Who had a boom box? <laughs> I had a boom box. Mine wasn't very big. My brother had one that was bigger than mine. We both had Walkmans, though. So that was pretty cool. I actually still have mine. And that's the last one. And the next thing I got is I found um, some of the gold toe um, men's shoes. Oh, shoes. Uh, <laughs> gold toe men's socks. And I picked up these brown ones, which I will probably give my dad for Father's Day. And they were previously $8. So, that's a good deal. And they're very heavy duty. They feel, you know, not thin at all or cheap. They feel nice, really nice. So I think that he will like these because he's kind of picky. And I also found, that's a one pack, one pair. And I found this one that has two pair. And it's got um, the Argyle and just the plain black. So it looks like that. And then the plain black gold toe. So that's really nice socks. Really nice. $4.25. And let's see what the two pack sold for originally. Um, I can pull this off. Um, I don't see it. It's not on here. Rip. Nope. Not on here that I see. Anyway, it doesn't matter. I got it for $1.25, so I don't care what it sold for previously. So, these are nice. You need a Father's Day gift and, or something else to add to a gift. Go pick these up. And the last thing I got at Dollar Tree, um, I got... And get some of this stuff off of me. I picked up a book, and I hope this will be good. It looks really good. It's called Our Last Goodbye, and it says, With war so close to home, can their love survive the impossible? It's formerly 1038, as you can see right there. And it's a club car book. Hmm. Historical fiction. Anyway, I thought that looked good, and I'm going to read it, see if it is. Love story between a nurse and um, he's either a soldier or a doctor. It doesn't say right here. It just says they fall in love, and who doesn't want to fall in love? Don't we all like love? Don't we all love love? Anyway, so I'm going to check this out and see if it's any good. I'm telling you people, go get these for your little ones. Go get those socks for the men in your life. Um, and last thing I want to show you, I got at Walmart. So if you stuck around, I appreciate it. <laughs> um, I just picked up a few things. Um, I got some... Puzzle erasers, there are, how many are in here? Uh, looks like five. They look like that. And those are really cool. I bet those are, uh, they might be pretty easy to get back together. I don't know about the star ones, but the blocks probably are. But those are cool. So I picked those up and those were $2. I picked up this little play pack, grab and go play pack from Jurassic World. It has four crayons, one sticker sheet, 24 page fun size coloring book, and it was 98 cents. I just realized it's by Benden. That's the same brand 
or company as the ones that did the Pooh Sticks book. Because I noticed that when I pulled the book out. Hmm. Well, they made this too. And it looks like that. And, of course, that's cheaper than Dollar Tree. 98 cents. They have the same type thing at Dollar Tree for Dollar twenty-five. And the next thing I got was these cute little dinosaur crayons, and they were a dollar. I thought that these were really neat. The only thing that bothers me about them, though, is I think that um, they could have, um, I don't know, maybe done a couple of different dinosaurs instead of having two repeats. And I think instead of having two greens and two yellows, they could have stuck in a, um, a red and a purple or something else. Seems kind of weird that they did it this way, but mm, I'll take it for a dollar. And the next thing I got was this four pack of jumbo pens. They were um, $2. There's a dinosaur one, a bunny one, an egg one, and a chick one. And they look like that. All these pretty colors. And I thought those are really cool. They even have the thing to hang them. See, it stick them in your pocket. <laughs> your your um, pen pocket on your shirt. Whatever you call that pocket. I don't know. I used to hate it when my husband would put his pens in there at work and come home. Because he'd have like little ink marks that I'd have to try to get out of his clothing. But anyway... And the final thing I got at Walmart was $2. It's an Easter fidget toy. And it's, um, what is it? Uh, Triceratops. Yes, I think that's what it's supposed to be. It looks like that. He's so cute. Look at how cute that little guy is. And I know why these became popular because of the whole bubble pop thing. But, well, this, this one kind of pops well, but. A lot of them, they don't really have that good a sound to them. This one's kind of cool, though. I actually saw one um, at Walmart. I don't know if you guys you guys have been in there and seen these. There are all kinds, for one thing. But they had one that was probably this big. That was almost like a um, computer, a laptop keyboard. It was huge. But I needed this for a box. So I picked that up. But anyway, guys, that's all I got to show you in this haul. I have a lot more stuff, but um, that's all I need to do tonight. Um, my husband and doggies have already gone to bed, and I think I'm going to go up and get my pajamas and get myself ready for bed. Do my nightly ritual, as I call it. And uh, so um, I'm surprised the dogs aren't barking wanting to come down here. But um, they're quiet. They've had their bedtime snack, and they're in bed with Daddy, so I guess they're okay. And um, I have, uh, what do, do I have? I have at least a couple of Hobby Lobby hauls coming up for you that are good. I have, um, I think, two more Dollar Tree hauls. Um, and I really need to stick in a junk journaling haul. Uh, well, not haul, but work on my journal some. Um, I've actually got this, got it put together, the book. I picked out my pages that I want for my, um, my signatures. I haven't actually sewn them in yet, but I have picked them out. Um, I've got the cloth inside the book, and I need to get the cloth on the spine outside the book. And once I do that, um, I can sew in the signatures and maybe make something online while you people watch me. I just didn't want to do um, the cover with an audience because um, it's more difficult and it's what I find the most frustrating. <laughs> and I um, don't enjoy that part particularly. So, um, yeah. But... Um, I think I'm going to let you guys watch me um, decorate some pieces to go in the journal or make some things. So, that'll be coming up soon. And um, if you'd like to leave a comment, I'm always happy to see comments. 
um, except ones from Trolls, which I said I wasn't going to mention again. But um, please leave a comment, a thumbs up, hit that notification bell. And if you haven't subscribed and you like this video, please subscribe. Um, I really need subscribers. I need views. Um, I'm trying to build my channel. I appreciate everybody that has subscribed so far. I appreciate you watching. I appreciate all the thumbs ups, all the um, comments. Um, yeah, I just appreciate you guys. So um, I hope you like the content. And if you'd like to see something else included, um, if I can, I will include it. And uh, I guess that's it. I'm going to go get ready for bed. So I hope you guys have a good night. Bye.